All right, we're about to do some beta revamp. I mean, this he, he was only going to get half the tank, but I decided he was trying so hard to get to the other half that, you know what, I like him, he has an attitude, and I felt bad that I almost killed him, so he can have the entire tank. I'm thinking about getting some pandacories in there and uh, some kind of, I don't know, I don't know what else, maybe just some pandacories in him. He pandacories to help clean up the bottom of the tank and I really think they're cool and I've always kind of wanted some. So it's going to be him, my buddy there, but I also lied to myself when I said I was going to make this tank cheap and just use old parts and so as you can see the decor is all kind of weird. It's just all old extra bits I had and I just dug out and put in there. I've decided I can't do that anymore. I, uh, I don't like it. I don't. I just don't like it. So, so far I went and I bought a new lid at work. 13 bucks. Plus I get 15% off because, well, I work there and I get a discount. So 15 or 13 bucks, 15% discount. I got a new filter. I took that other one back to Walmart and I got this one at work because we were having a sell where filters were 50% off plus my discount. So I paid like six bucks for the filter <laughs> and I can adjust the flow. So double bonus. I still have the old light in there and I've been using my lamp, but I felt bad that, uh, well, I mean, it's just, it's not good enough. The tank is not good enough. So follow me for a second. I might have went a little shopping. A little shopping. All right, so my biggest expense out of all of this was probably the driftwood was, was it 14 bucks because of my discount, but it's like 15. And I've done a lot of reading. This is actually reptile grapevine driftwood. It's been soaking for a few days, which is why it looks like that. I've had it soaking for quite a while until it starts to sink and it's still leaching a little of the tennis or whatever, but that's okay. I don't, it's okay. I don't mind. Actually, that looks weird. It's like, look at this pop, hot sucker. Uh, the heater that I have in there is not keeping the tank adequately warm. It's only keeping it about 65 or so, so I went ahead and finally got him a real heater. But don't get me wrong, the other heater does work a little bit, but it's really cold where I am right now, and that's just, it's not going to do. The light, I've already had it turned on. <clears throat> I actually just switched it around for this video so you can get an idea of what his tank looked like. You know, kind of a dimish with the two different colors. Oh, one second. Uh, got a new thing of substrate. It's just very fine. Uh, like a gravel substrate to put in there. I mean, he's got a lot in there, but since I decided I'm going to go ahead and do live plants, that I want a little deeper substrate, and I already have some fertilizer tabs that I'm going to put in there. Not many, just a few. I'm going to give these a go. You guys can see the weird names. I, I love the aquarium world. I love the fish world. I love all that stuff, but when it comes to talking about things professionally, I, I ain't got it. See, these are pretty red plants that are supposed to be easy grow, I do research on them before I buy them, so I googled a lot of these before I bought them to make sure that they were going to grow well in my tank. And this one, I love the way this looks in my shrimp tank, so I absolutely had to have another one. I also bought another moss ball. It's in there. And then I bought this too, which the little... Okay, so here we go. Check this out. See, Amazon, I got that little thermometer there for $1.99, right? This I got for $4 on Amazon. This I got for $3 on Amazon. This I got for 14 on Amazon. <laughs> this I got for $11 and some odd cents because it was on a sale plus a lot cheaper on Amazon. These are one of my most expensive ones because this was like 11 bucks. This was like 7 This was like 3 And these were like 8 bucks a pop. But the tank is going to be baller. I would love to show you guys me putting it all together, but that's not going to happen because I don't have a way to hold the phone while I do it. So this is what's going in the tank. And, uh, we're gonna get this tank all fixed up. There he is in all of his glory, Sir Autumn. Autumn of the 10 gallon aquarium, soon to be all planted tank. And for the moment, he's gonna hate me because he's gonna have to go back into his beta cup. I was gonna put him in the little one gallon I have just temporarily, but I'm gonna use that one gallon to help clean the rocks and stuff. So, hey, why don't you get over to the light, man? Move my orange light down. That's yeah, some, some over here. Come over here, so we can see you in all of your glory and your splendor. Hey, that's, that's actually not the best. Get under the light, my friend. He's such a cool fish. All right, yep, yep, we're gonna go do this. We're gonna do this. See you guys, see you guys soon. All right, this is the, uh, the new setup. It's a little foggy still because of the gravel. I should have rinsed it a lot better. 
I was a little lazy on it. I did rinse it like twice, but I was kind of tired and wanted to get it done. I think uh, I'm going to up the flow just a little bit because the water's looking a little stagnant up there, though he is getting little bubbles, little bubble groups around the plants, which I'm thinking he did that. I think he really, I think he really likes it so far. I look forward to the next couple days watching everything grow out. I do know that uh, the plant or the tank's going to go through an ugly phase here soon as the plants kind of acclimate themselves to my water. Oh, here comes Boris. Hi, Boris. I'm trying to make a video, dear. But yeah, I know that some of the leaves are going to clear and fall off and all that stuff. I did plant just, I took one of my, um, what do you call those, uh, flourish tabs. I put one in there, I broke it up into like five pieces and I just planted it around in the substrate. The substrate's actually really thick. It's like three different types of gravel from like, there's sand mixed with a small gravel mixed with a very fine gravel. And it's that very fine gravel that's caused the cloudiness because I didn't rinse it enough. I think after a couple water changes, the water will clear up very nicely. I left the little light in there, this this little one right there, so I can use it off and on. I'm not going to use it too often, but it is very good for just a quick click on, click off. The other light, as you can see, looks great on the tank. It's uh, it's set on a timer. It turns on at nine o'clock. Turns off by nine o'clock. I learned my lesson on that, so we'll see how the plants go. I'm going to let the tank grow out quite a bit before I decide on tank mates. Uh, like I said, if I do put tank mates in here, if I do, I'm still kind of debating. It'll probably be just like some panda quarries, because I really like panda quarries. Maybe because I just love pandas. Or, uh, I don't know. I know they're definitely going to get a snail, but th that doesn't count. I don't know what kind of snail. Definitely a snail. But I think the tank looks so much better. I went ahead and glued on some, some, you know, some java moss. And on the back because the back was actually going to be the front. I put on a bunch of um, a shredded moss ball I had in the other tank. I took it out, put it in there. But you can't really see it now because I realized I didn't want the stick facing that way. I wanted the stick facing the other way. So there's a big job fern. Also on my filter, I kind of wrapped it with some, some cotton. Because I've seen him and he keeps swimming up to it and he leans on it. It's like he kind of likes just getting stuck to it and resting on it, but I'm kind of worried that he might get his fins caught or something. And that, and if I do put shrimp in here at any time, you know, they're going to get sucked up in there. So some of my sewing cotton, I've wrapped it on there. It does actually slide right on and off, so I can take it off and clean it and put it back. It's no big deal. I think he's showing off. But I did not end up keeping that other stick there. We needed something in the middle. That wasn't the Anubis I thought it was. Uh, the leaves are definitely different, so I wasn't going to put that one in the middle. It looked really good going over the plant there, so that's where it went. There's my little banana plant, just kind of sitting there. I didn't really want to bury it. I want to see, in case I have to move it again, I'm not really sure what banana plants do. I've seen a couple videos, so in case I need to move it, I'm going to move it. The java moss wall there is actually growing out. You can see it's starting to poke out the little, the little holes. So hopefully here in a few weeks, we'll see what that does. And over the course of some water changes, uh, this will hopefully clear up and look a lot better. Like I said, I've had that driftwood soaking for a few days. It's probably still leaching some of that tannis, but that's all right. I don't really mind. Uh, the fish is happy. The heater's working, as you can tell. We actually have some heat in the tank now, which we didn't before. Before it was barely, barely getting close to like 65-ish with that little heater in there. Look at his colors. I saw I love his colors. I mentioned that I love this fish. Oh, I noticed before, I remember just real quick before I go, I know earlier I said I almost killed him and I felt bad. Quick story on that. What happened is, is I had the tank divided into two. You know, I was going to do a beta on this side, beta on that side. Well, he discovered a way to get through the divider. So I was going to fix that, but um, I decided to get him some more plants. And I was doing a lot of research and everybody was saying, a lot of people were saying that you can get the cheap plants from like Walmart or a hobby store or something. And as long as they don't have a lot of dyes, do a dye test, rinse them off, they'll work. Do this at your own risk. Absolutely. I bought two cheap plants from Walmart. Pretty silk ones. Uh, they just look like regular vines, you know, just normal green, fluffy, 99 cent plants. Brought them home, rinsed them off really, really well, tested them. There's no leaky dye or anything crazy. They seem absolutely fine. No big deal. So I went ahead and put them in either side of the tank. Within moments of putting these plants in my tank, the beta fish started uh, acting weird and I thought maybe it was just the stress of me moving him back from because he was on this side so I netted him and put him back on this side because like I said I had it divided 
and I was gonna actually seal it completely, but I decided not to because I, I watched him. He's smart. I watched him nose his way through the divider. But yeah, so I went ahead and yeah, I put the plants in, and he started acting really weird, like very kind of lethargic. And within a few seconds after that, I started. I was watching him very closely. Thankfully, uh, he started floating sideways and upside down, and I was like crap so the only thing I could think of you know this was within just a few moments it's probably less than five minutes I swear it was that fast but within a few moments you know I went ahead and did you know pulled out the plants threw them across the room because you know that's the only thing I could think of that did anything and I was mad at the plants how dare you so I threw the plants across the room I uh, looked at the fish he was just floating upside down really weird like uh, I, I picked the plants up and looked them over and one of the plain green leaf plants was leaching some kind of weird white substance along some of the edges and where the plant glues onto the stem. It was uh, it looked very frothy, whatever it was. So at the time I didn't have a gravel vac. All I had is the tiny micro gravel vac I used for my you know my little nano shrimp tank over there. So I, I did the only thing I knew what to do it. I just I did a water change. I took a lot of the water out, at least about half, you know, put fresh water in and you know moments after doing that he slowly started going right back to normal. It was almost instantaneous. I mean it was the craziest thing I've ever seen and I was worried through the night that I would lose him, but he perked up overnight. I didn't lose my fish. I will never I will never save money by buying cheap plants again. If it's not aquarium go, I won't do it. Holy crap, that was so scary. I thought for sure he was gone. And then I realized that, you know what, I love you. If you want the whole tank, you can have the whole tank. Just take it. And then I got online and ordered all this stuff for the fish tank, the the light, the heater. <laughs> it's like, we're going to do this right. I'm so sorry. I was trying to cheap you. But yeah, that's my scare. So now Autumn has this awesome, amazing thing. And he's happy. All right, I have to go to work. So that's Autumn's new world. Hopefully in a few days it clears up and do a couple water changes. And maybe I'll do an update here in about a week or two. Look at him swimming around. This is after work. This is about nine hours after my other other little video clip. It's definitely clearing up and I've turned the filter up just a bit. It's having a hard time because I did wrap it with just one layer of thin cotton, but it seems to be slowing the flow quite a bit. So I turned it all the way up to give it a little more power, though he doesn't seem to mind there not being a flow at all. He is all over the place. The plants are already perking up. They still look kind of you know sad but they like I said they were in a package you guys saw the package and they've got a lot to speak for but so far I think this tank looks great it is clearing up and looking even better and it's gonna continue to look better and he is just swimming all over the place in it I love watching him check everything out I was gonna show a quick top view I gotta unplug it that uh, you can kind of there you go. You can kind of see oh, the light reflection. You can kind of see where the moss, where I put some moss on the log on up there, and the plants in the back, and how slow that flow is. But he really seems to like the slow flow. As you know, go figure. Bait has got that big, beautiful tail that they have to keep up. And there's my other light that I keep on during the day. But if I turn it off, it doesn't do too much different. Right now, I'm just helping the plants. It's, I keep it off most of the time, but especially at night if I need to check something, it's just a quick turn on. Look at his colors. Now that you're in the light, he's checking it out. He just ate, and he's just a glutton. What are you doing down there, bud? But the tank already looks fabulous. I can't wait to see it in a few days. I'll keep you guys updated. Especially when we go to introduce some tank mates. I'm still doing a lot of research on tank mates. I want to see what will work best for him. And I want these plants to grow out so the tank mates have places to hide. And I'm actually thinking about adding another packet of these little red plants. I love the way they bush together when they get older. I'd like to put one more in that corner so there'd be a little three pack. And I'd like to put some more plants around this log here to create more of a hidey hole. So when I do eventually introduce tank mates, they will have a bit of a natural cave cove to go into because I mean yeah it's pretty cool to swim under. Autumn there likes to swim under and just hang out but I'd like something to actually create more of a shelter effect because you can see there's really not much else here. It's a big stick and there's some plants to hide in. Those are going to bush up nicely. There's a little under cove there but it's not much and I'd like to give people more space to get away from each other as needed. I said I don't plan on having a hugely populated tank but I really do. I'm still eyeing those quarry, the panda quarries. 
and possibly a snail or something, you know, to help with algae. Let's see. Oh, what? Now what? Now you can't hide. No, I took away your shadows. That's a good color. Where are you going? <laughs> he's, kind of, he's like, no, forget you. See what I mean by he has an attitude? He totally has his own personality. You get back here. I was admiring you. Such pretty fish. Pull the light over one more time. Oh, that's a good picture. I'm trying to get a picture of him. But anyway, yep, that's that. <laughs>